Moving on to the next example for the long division of polynomials, find the quotient if you divided 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 6x plus 10 by x plus 4 and got a remainder of negative 190. Now in your textbook, there's going to be lots of these types of questions where if you write out the division statement, they'll give you three parts and then you have to find out what the fourth part is. Usually sometimes it'll be written out in a sentence like this or sometimes you'll be given it in a chart. Now the first thing you always want to do when you get a question like that is you want to write out the division statement and then you want to find out what are you trying to isolate for. Well we're trying to find the quotient in this case. So we're going to have to isolate it in this expression. So how would we do that? Well, we would first have to bring the remainder over, so we'd have the dividend minus the remainder equals the divisor times the quotient. Then we would divide both sides by the divisor to get the quotient by itself, so the divisors here would cancel out, and we'd end up having the quotient is equal to the dividend minus the remainder over the divisor. Now, we're looking for the quotient, so if we take our question here and plug everything for this expression, so what is our dividend in this case? Well, it's basically the polynomial that we're dividing. So it's this 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 6x plus 10 and then we are subtracting the remainder. So we're subtracting this negative 190. And then that's gonna be all over our divisor, which is the polynomial that we're taking our dividend and dividing by, which is x plus four. Then taking the numerator and then simplifying it, so 10 minus negative 190 is the same as 10 plus 190, and we end up with 200, everything else stays the same. So this part here, this new expression here, is our quotient, which is what we are trying to find. And then notice how this quotient now is in terms of division. It's basically this new polynomial in the numerator divided by x plus 4. So we can just perform long division on that and then whatever we get, the answer would be our quotient for our original question. So taking this division here and rewriting it in this form, so we could just perform long division on this now. So how many times does x go into 2x cubed? Well, it goes in 2x squared times. And then 2x squared times x, that gives us 2x cubed. 2x squared times 4, that gives us 8x squared. And then when we minus these, 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, that nets out to 0. Negative 3x squared minus 8x squared, that gives us negative 11x squared. We could bring down this 6x. How many times does x go into negative 11x squared? Well, it just goes in negative 11x times. Then negative 11x times x gives us negative 11x squared. Negative 11x times 4, that gives us negative 44x. Then when we minus these, negative 11x squared minus negative 11x squared, that nets out to 0. 6x minus negative 44x, that's the same as 6x plus 44x which would give us 50x, bring the 200 down. How many times does x go into 50x? Well, it goes in 50 times. 50 times x, 50x, and then 50 times four is 200. And when we minus both of these expressions, we get a remainder of zero. So this here, this quotient that we got, that is our answer. Find the quotient for when you divide this polynomial by x plus 4 and get a remainder of negative 190. So I took our answer, made a little concluding statement here. So basically our quotient is 2x squared minus 11x plus 50 for this question that we got. Now a couple of things I want to make a note on. First off, notice how we got a remainder of 0 here. 
And that will always happen when you are solving for either the divisor or the quotient. Because what happens is we subtract the remainder from the dividend and then the dividend is going to divide evenly by either the divisor or the quotient. So it makes sense that we get a remainder of zero. The next thing I want to go over is basically giving you a reminder that whenever you get a question like this where you have to find one of the pieces in the division statement, always write out the division statement in general form. Okay, isolate with whatever you're finding. So in this case, we're finding the quotient, so we isolate it for the quotient, and then plug in everything, uh, plug in the parameters of the question that you get. Sometimes you'll get the result right away. Sometimes you're going to have to do an extra division. You're gonna to have to do an extra division basically whenever you're finding the divisor or the quotient. So, uh, so yeah, that's it. Just follow this process and, uh, and it's pretty simple. Whenever you're finding the divisor or a quotient, when you're given all three other things, remember your remainder should always be zero when you do the division. And, uh, and yeah, that's it.